Hello everyone and welcome to Highlight Lighting Tutorial. So we're excited to introduce our new Zigbee RGB plus tunable white LED controller and remote control. So it is a 4-in-1 Zigbee custom voltage LED controller and it can be set with a dip switch to control single color, tunable white, RGBW or RGB plus tunable white strip. So on the left you have the dial switch for different modes so you can control the RGB plus tunable white or if you change the position of the switch you can control the single color then the tunable white or the RGBW. And then on the strip that you have you have to select the correct setting. Now what we have here is a 150 watt LED driver which is supplying a 24 volts to our two LED controllers which are supplying a 24 volts to a small section of RGB plus tunable white strip. So let's go ahead and power up our two LED controllers. Now when you power them up the LED lights will be on a constant light. So the first thing that you want to do really is to just reset both um, LED controllers just to ensure that any previous pairing um, has been deleted if the controllers have been used before. And um, once you reset to them, you will see that the LED lights will blink which will show that the LED controllers have been reset. And uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to connect these uh, two LED controllers to a Philips Hue bridge which has an inbuilt uh, Zigbee protocol. You just have to ensure that any smart hub device that you may use has a Zigbee inbuilt protocol. And if you don't want to use the Zigbee protocol, you can just use the LED controller with the remote control on its own. So let's go ahead and connect the Hue bridge to the LED controllers in order to be able to control our um, LED strips. So you will want to power off, then power back on the LED controllers as we have a 15 seconds um, timeout. Then you want to grab your Philips Hue Bridge application, then go into settings, then go into light setup, add light, then search, and the Hue Bridge will begin searching for the LED controllers, and it is searching for both um, LED controllers. So you have to give it a couple of seconds, and the light should blink. There you go. Once both lights have been um, connected, and as you can see, we have extended color light one and extended color light two which is our two LED controllers. Then you can just go ahead and add um, the two lights into a room. If you don't have a room already, you can create a new room. Um, so we're just gonna create one and make sure to take um, both lights um, to be added into that specific room. And then we're just gonna name this room, for example, test one. And then uh, just go ahead and tap done. And both lights has now been added to our room test one and we can turn off the lights or turn them back on or if you want to um, control the light separately you can do that but one of the things that can come quite in hand is that you can control the color temperature um, of the light through the um, application which can be quite useful and as I said before you can also control the light separately so you can turn off one light and adjust the brightness of the other light or you can also do vice versa so it's um, quite responsive as an application and it's got loads of features that you can explore. It's now time to add the remote control onto our Philips Hue Bridge uh, Zigbee network. So you want to make sure that your remote control has been reset. So the first thing that you want to do is to press and hold onto the power button and then press the power button quickly five times. So your remote control now is ready to be paired to the Philips Hue Bridge um, Zigbee network. So you want to grab the Philips Hue application and you want to go back into your settings. You have to please make sure that your remote control has actually been reset. Then you want to go ahead and tap on our accessory setup. Add accessory. And then you want to select Hue dimmer switch, which is the first uh, dimmer switch option. Then before you go ahead and tap on LEDs blinking, you want to grab your remote control. Press and hold onto the power button until the red indicator comes up. Then should press WW which stands for more white. Then go back on the application and tap LEDs blinking. Then you can go back onto your remote control and pay close attention onto the um, LED indicator. As on the application nothing will actually happen as we're using this dimmer switch just to connect our remote control. The remote control will blink 5 times in quick succession once it's paired. And then the remote control will be successfully paired with the Philips Hue bridge. Pause is to power up.
the LED controllers. Now, once you power up the LED controllers, what you have to note is that there's a 180 second time window that starts, okay? So once you have that 100, 180 second or three minutes that starts all of the led controllers will be available for pairing okay so what you want to do in that in in that time window you can reset the led controllers okay so to reset the led controller these two have already been reset so i'll only do this one To reset the LED controller, you press the program button five times. So we're gonna go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. And the LED lights will blink, okay? To signify that the um, LED controller has been um, reset. Now, what you want to do, you also want to reset the remote control. You press and hold onto the power button. Then one, two, three, four, five. Onto the power button and the LED should uh, blink to signify a um, successful um, reset. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pair um, any of the LED controllers, but what you have to ensure is that because they're all available for pairing, is that adequate distance is between them. So they, there has to be at least, we suggest 20 to 30 centimeter distance, so that the pairing doesn't, the pairing of um, this, remote control doesn't pair to any of the other ones that you don't want it to. So we're gonna pair it to this one. So we're gonna have 50 second, 50 centimeter distance. We're gonna want it on zone one. So we're gonna press and hold onto zone one. This will start blinking. And this LED strip which you're holding will be paired, okay? Once it stops blinking there, the LED lights will blink again to signify successful pairing. Now within that 180 second time window, you can also go ahead and pair the other controllers. You can pair as many controllers as you'd like to um, any of the zones. So we're gonna put this one back onto, um, for example, zone one, okay? So we're gonna bring it here. Again, because we're within the 180 second, there has to be spacing between the um, other controller that's still available for pairing. We're gonna press. We're gonna put the same controller on the same zone or any other zone, which 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 one you ever like. So we're gonna press and hold onto zone one again. So we're gonna put on the same zone as the other controller. LED light will blink, and the LED strip, which is this one here, that's connected, will blink, and then we'll blink again to signify successful um, completion. So now, if the 180 second have gone past, okay, what you can do is to have this controller into pairing mode by itself. All you'd have to do is to press the program button four times, okay? Now, because these two have already been paired, you can be close to the two controllers if you don't have the space because they will, they will not be um, affected because they're already full repairing and the 180 second time window has gone past. So we're gonna click onto the program button four times to set this controller into pairing mode. So one, two, three, four. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna press and hold onto, let's say zone four. LED lights will start blinking. Keep the controller on top. And this strip will pair onto zone four. As you can see, the other two controllers have not been engaged because they've already been paired. So this is how you'll be able to pair the um, remote control to the LED controllers.